G'day and welcome to another video with Betafix. Hope this finds you all well. Today we're having a look at the new version of Lightroom and a specific feature which I think is really going to help you stay organized with your images uh, and uh, be able to create albums that uh, have a dynamic approach to the content that's actually within those albums. So a new release recently with Adobe Lightroom has created what's called Smart Albums and as the name suggests, it constantly looks for and updates the content of those albums based on select criteria that you have complete control over. It's a great feature, so let's have a look at it. All right, so as you can see, I am in Lightroom and it's important to note that this works with the cloud. So if you're on a local hard drive, uh, or local storage device, then uh, this won't work unfortunately. So we do need to look at the cloud uh, or the, the images that you have on the cloud at present. And if we head down to where the albums are and we hit the little plus symbol there, you can see we have, I'll just do that again. Uh, you can see that we have what's called Create Smart Album. And I'm just going to click on that one. And you can see you can uh, have the option there to give it a title. So in this case, I'm going to call this one landscapes and you have the option to create a folder um, for that to sit in but we're not going to do that for now uh, and you have what's called the option to add a rule and this is basically a parameter that Lightroom looks for images that have uh, these particular features there's a whole bunch of options there and uh, that means that when an image pops up with that particular feature, whether it's a keyword or a title or anything uh, that we set, then uh, it will automatically and dynamically add that image to the album. It's a great feature. If you have a broad range of subject matter, for example, landscapes, oceanscapes, you might do portraits, you might shoot weddings, you might have some family images, then Lightroom's going to automatically add those images to that particular album. And from there, it just means that you know you can do whatever you want without having to necessarily go looking for those particular images because they're already there and they're ready to go. As I said, from a workflow and an efficiency perspective, it's a great feature. All right, let's add a new rule. Now, I'm working with dual screens and uh, what's popped up on my uh, primary screen is the list of rules that you can apply to a particular smart album. And for the life of me, I cannot get it to appear on the screen that's being recorded at the moment. So my apologies that that's not there, but uh, basically you have a whole bunch of options. For example, uh, you can select based on album, camera, capture date. Uh, commented, contributors, depth map, edited, extension, f-stop. There's a whole bunch of options there. The one that we're going to look at today is keywords. So let's just have a look at that one. All right, so I just selected keyword there. And you can see now uh, with that rule, um, it is saying matches all of the following rules. It has a keyword and it includes the keyword. We're going to select landscape and we're going to create. And you can see down there on the left hand side, uh, under albums, it now has what is a smart album. And any image that has the keyword landscapes appears within that album. Now, let's go back to all of our photos again. And you can see there's a whole bunch of images. Uh, now, what I've also done is for some of the images, I've given them a keyword ocean, which you can see over here on the right hand side. And there's a number of images there that have the ocean in them. Uh, three of them, in fact, and uh, you can see I've given them the keyword ocean. So let's create another smart album called Oceans or Ocean. Uh, let's add a new rule keyword and ocean. Now when you actually hit select keyword, any images that you have sitting in the cloud at the moment. Um, only the keywords will pop up that the images already have. So if you're wanting to create a category, maybe apply a keyword to a particular image and then it will pop up as an option. So it will go through your images, if it's all family images, and pop the keyword or the relevant keyword into those images and you'll be good to go. For this one, we're selecting Ocean. And if we go down, you can see that second album has now been applied. And you can see any image that has the keyword Ocean in there 
is now within that album. That's a fantastic feature, quick and easy to use. So as you can see, if you create another album or if you add a keyword to particular images that um, are going to be utilized by a smart album that you've already set up, then those images are automatically added. You don't need to go looking for them. It's a fantastic feature. Uh, and I think it will really help a lot of people to keep their images organized. So thanks very much for stopping by. That is a short summary of Smart Albums. If you have any questions, of course, leave them in the comments below. Thanks again. I hope you enjoyed this video and we look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.